Hi folks, Chris Rich here. Welcome back to the channel. You're in for a real treat today. We're going fly fishing at Lee's Ferry today. My dad and I. Now you know I put these videos together in hopes to inspire you to do what sets your soul on fire, what brings you to life, what livens you up in life. One of those things, as you know for me, is getting out and fly fishing with my dad. Special day for the big poppy today. He turns 84 years old. Get to spend a birthday together with him in this ma absolutely magnificent place called Lee's Ferry. Now this is at the mouth of the Grand Canyon. Right below us, going down river, is where the river runners start to run down the Grand Canyon. One week, two weeks, three weeks, several hundred miles to get all the way through that Grand Canyon. This canyon we're in is pretty grand myself, although they call this Marble Canyon. These cliff walls you're looking at are 12 to 1500 feet up overhead. Absolutely magnificent, turn after turn. You bet, we're taking you right along with us. Hey, there's the big poppy, there's the birthday boy sitting in the co-pilot seat, taking it all in. Another trip to Lee's Ferry. A lot of history here at Lee's Ferry. Back in the day, back in about 1880, up to oh, probably 1929, I guess, only way to get across this Colorado River, if you were coming from Utah to Arizona, you had to cross it. There was only one way to get across, and it was at Lee's Ferry. It was the only place you could get down to the Colorado on one side and get back out of this canyon on the other side. As you can imagine, getting a horse-drawn wagon down one of these cliffs was, yeah, it wasn't going to happen unless you fell over the edge and nobody was going to survive. Couldn't even get down on foot most of these places. Anyhow, back in the day, they'd bring the horse-drawn wagons, all the whole entourage, down to the ferry. They'd ferry them all across, get them out on the other side. They'd find their way into Arizona. That's how the exploration was taking place. General Powell, he did a lot of exploration down through here, and of course, they named Lake Powell after it. We're probably going to see that dam up here in, in just a little bit. This little area we're in right now is called Horseshoe Bend. The river just kind of winds around like a horseshoe, and there's a lot of real famous photos of this spot. Although when you're down here in the river, you have no idea that you're actually at Horseshoe Bend. Every once in a while, you see some tourists right up there on the top of that cliff. Yeah, there's a little walkway, a couple miles to get out. You can take a look for yourself at Horseshoe Bend. Never walked out there because I really prefer to be down here in the water fishing taking in the scenery from water level. Really enjoy it. Well, here's our guide. All right, we got our famous guide, Jeff. He's setting us up. How many yeah. years have you been on the river, Jeff? Uh, 31. 31 years. 5,300 days, I believe. 5,300 days, yeah. Wow. Well, that's pretty good. That's more than me. That's more than me. Got the big birthday boy. You bet, 84 years old. Out here getting it done. Hey, let's go over the setup we got here. Jeff's setting us up. We got nine foot 5X leader. We we'll start off with an indicator about four inches down from the, whoop, let's get that down here. About four inches down from, from the fly line there. Then we got our leader coming down, all the way down. Boom, 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 where are we? There we go, we're gonna have some split shots. We gotta get this line down. There we go, we got a couple feet from there. We got a scud, little tiny scud. They're gonna like that, then another couple feet. Little tiny midge. That's what they're eating, folks. We're gonna see how it works out. You bet. This is what it looks like, folks. We got our line out. I don't know if you can see the strike indicators out there, but we're just drifting along. Yeah, and this is where we're doing it, right here, one of the most beautiful places in all the world. Don't know of any other place like it around the world. Right here at the mouth of the Grand Canyon, Lee's Ferry. Yeah, from time to time, Jeff's gotta retie, he's gotta re-rig, get a snafu, get a break off. And uh, here we go. Hey, Big Poppy's got, he's hooked up again. Look at him there. First fish of the day. We like it. We like it. Caught a few fish there. Slower than we wanted. Going to head up river a little bit. And we're going to take you right along with us. Just let you bask in this beauty for a few minutes. We get it for a few days and you're going to get it for a few minutes on this video. A lot of gold mining took place in here. Some old remnants of it. Oh, there's the Big Poppy, the birthday boy. Shows up again. You bet. Yeah, so a lot of gold mining, some uranium mining took place in here. Oh man, a lot of history. Ba back in the day, somebody wanted to carve a, a shelf out of the side of this canyon wall and put a railroad all the way through here. Oh, here we go. Here, we're hooked up. We're bringing one into the boat. We had to take her. Pretty fish. They're real healthy and a lot of real feisty. 
fun to catch, but it's really fun to just hang out with my dad and, and fish. Here we are having lunch, and you can see that little ripple coming off there, and if you look real close, you can see some noses of these trout sticking up. They're eating some little tiny flies in that calm water. We're in the shade right there. I'm gonna get out and go over and chase them with the dry fly and see if I can get them to take something. But there's the boat. There's Jeff and the big poppy. Just got done eating lunch. That's what the setup kind of looks like there. Got done with lunch. We decided to head on up river here. Now, if you look up on these shelf walls, you might see some holes up there. Try to, try to close in, there you go. So there's a tunnel that goes all the way down inside there and they had to carve out some holes to get some ventilation into that tunnel. But it was the tunnel they used to build that dam right there. On the other side of that dam is Lake Powell. Huge, enormous lake. More shoreline on that lake than the entire west coast of the United States. That bridge is about 1,500 feet over the top of the water. Every once in a while you see a car up there, a big truck pulling a trailer coming across. Pretty amazing. Hope that dam doesn't break while we're down here. Wouldn't be too fun. Oh, looky here, we got another taker. Bringing in another little guy. You bet, we like these pretty trout. Get him in the net. Just gonna unhook him for us. Maybe we'll get a little look. Oh, he sent him out. He sent him out to where he is. There he is, get a little look at him. Jeff's working with the big poppy, getting him lined out. See if he can get some more fish and bring him into the net. Fun to catch them every once in a while. They do call it fishing, they don't call it catching. So we're not too worried about catching, we're, we're worried about fishing. That's what it's all about. Yeah, we decided to head down river a little bit. We're hitting a few different spots and we pull a few fish out of each spot it seems like. Not a crazy good day of catching, but a crazy good day of fishing nonetheless. You bet. Yeah, here's another pretty boy coming in. Had another one that wanted to play with us a little bit. Just going to get him out of that net if he'll settle down there a little bit. Going to give us a little look at him there as well. You bet. Real pretty color on these fish. Real pretty color. You can see how clear that water is. It's probably at least 10 to 15 foot deep right here. And you can see right down to the bottom. Here's those scuds we're fishing with. Got a ginger scud on the bottom. Got another one right there. That's what we're catching these fish on. A lot of kayakers on the river. There's a couple of different services that will run a kayaker or a paddle board up river and let them kind of ease on down. Sometimes they'll camp out for a few nights and sometimes they'll just make it down in a day. But a lot of recreation takes place up here, folks. A lot of recreation. Yeah, there's another one we had brought him into the net. A little fatter, good color on him. Real pretty fish, I'll tell you, up here. Wild and woolly. Wild and woolly and real spooky. Well, the day's just about over. We're getting ready to head back down river. We've got a few more days in store for us. But I'll tell you what, folks. This is one of the things that really brings me to life. Sets my soul on fire. And I hope you're doing what sets your soul on fire.